Well, hi, we're John and Patty Deshaw, and we're reviewing as a devotional Judges chapter 6 and 7, Gideon's Triumph. We spent a great time, uh, had a great time just connecting with God through this research on our own. We decided, you know, we tried to share together what God was saying to us. It was either going to be a massive fight with very different perspective, or we were going to take 30 minutes. So Patty's good. we decided let's have Patty share what insights she got from God, and then uh, I'll share some questions that we could ask ourselves about what he's trying to really say to us individually. So being the very relational person that I am, when I read stories, especially from Old Testament, I look at them in relationship to what's God doing and what's the person doing. And so with Gideon, what I saw was um, God is incredibly encouraging to him. And um, the first way was um, he calls him out. He calls him a mighty man of fearless courage is um, the Amplified Classic is what it says, that translation. And, um, you know, Gideon is feeling like I'm just weak. But we know that God uses the weak things of the world to confound the wise. So he's calling Gideon out. So the next thing I see is the offering, you know, the angel of the Lord has come and he's sitting under the Joash's tree, dad's tree. And um, Gideon says, okay, let me go get you an offering and bring it back. Will you wait for me to return? And God says, I will wait till you return. So we know it's going to take a couple of hours to get all that offering at together at least. And so God, angel of the Lord, is sitting under the tree for a couple hours waiting for Gideon to come back. I love that. So, you know, the next being, of course, the fleeces where, you know, get, and, you know, that's not a formula for how we find out what God wants us to do. But it is um, a way to see how God loves, just loved on Gideon and let him do it. Okay, let it be wet. Okay, let it not be wet. It's the same thing where God is not afraid of Gideon's doubt and keeps responding to that little bit of faith that Gideon has. And then the fourth thing when um, they're, they're just about ready to, you know, the, the armies are all gathered and Gideon knows he only has 300 guys. And God says to him, if you're still afraid, why don't you take your servant and go listen to what's being said in the Midianite camp? They go down and they're hearing a dream being shared where the, the Midian, Midianite listening says, this is surely God. This, this is God. And so what is the encouragement? God gives a godless Gentile a prophetic dream just so Gideon would be encouraged that God is with him. So I love that in these two chapters and there's there's more to be said but that is my biggest takeaway so well let's ask ourselves a few questions you and us together um, the real sin that they had was lacking relationship they've lost their close relationship with God so when we're crying out to God like they are is it really because we're just tired of our circumstances we're tired of mm -hmm. what we're seeing or are we really repenting because we've lost our nearness to the God of the universe? That's what our repentance really needs to be at. We have to throw off the gods within us before we can deal with throw off the gods that are around us. Little G. Right. So what are those gods in my life that idols. are in the way of my relationship with God, the idols? What are they? Am I willing to destroy them? Mm -hmm. like Gideon did. What, do I act what action do I need to take now to move nearer to God, mm -hmm. demonstrating that? Mm -hmm. God won the battle with 300. It wasn't anything that the, the warriors could be boasting in. It was clearly God. And yet he gives us the privilege of playing a significant part in his story. Mm -hmm. God has assured Gideon many times. How has he assured us? How has he assured you that he is faithful and good? And even in the midst of your weakness, or even because of them, he's able to be strong and demonstrate his faithfulness. In what ways, then, are you then now free to be bold 
and confident as he said Gideon would be after he heard that dream and that interpretation from his enemies. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Right.